Hello Vikings, my name is Sebastian and welcome to Sharp Programming. Now today we're going to be talking about expanding divs, as in a div box uh, that you can have when you hover over it, it will expand outwards or downwards. Uh, now let's just jump right into this because I have a feeling that it's going to take a while. Uh, so this is the document that we've been working on for the last uh, 7 million tutorials, yeah? So that's good. Uh, so let's start by making a sort of spacing between uh, this because we want to separate what we've already done from the expanding divs. So that will take a second. So what we do is just do a div call it spacing. Yeah. And we'll go into our CSS and we'll go oh wait uh dot spacing. Now this we also talked about how to um how to use CSS and how to you know connect it with all these uh with your HTML and all that. So we'll create a spacing of 200 pixels. That's good. So we go back and we will create our expanding div. Uh, so the first thing is give it a class expanding. There you go. And close that. So the expanding div, what are we going to be doing with that? Well, glad you asked, person who didn't ask. Um, <laughs> going to be set, oh, oh well. Um, width of about 20 pixel. Oh wait, that's maybe too small. Want to go 120? Yeah, we want to go 120. And a god damn it. Well, hi, the there you go, 120 pixels. And we're gonna set a background color as well. And I'm gonna go for a gray, there you go. So we've got now our div. Oh, god damn. Well, spacing didn't work. Um, <laughs> did I spell that wrong? Oh, wait, yeah, okay, god damn. Height. Oh, ignore that. Uh, there you go. Okay. Now we've got it spaced. Uh, I set the width instead of the height. That was a uh, rookie mistake. So uh, we've got this set. Now the first thing that we're going to be doing is making sure that it knows how to transition uh, from being 120 pixels wide to being, let's say it's 300. Yeah. So we set a transition. Oh, colon. Width. And then set a time for it, uh, 0.3 seconds. And then the effect, as in, we'll do an ease in out effect. Now this will work for my browser. If you're looking for using it on a Firefox or Chrome, uh, you're gonna be doing something along the lines of Moss. I'm not completely sure. You'd have to look it up. Yeah. Uh, but to make sure that it always works, this also for mobile devices and uh, Apple products, I mean, MacBooks, I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't ask me on all these. They're crazy. They're crazy. So, uh, again, for the basics transition, with no uh, specific browser in mind, we do it like this. Now, it knows to transition for about 0.3 seconds, and it will do it on the in and out effect. Uh, so, upon uh, expanding hover, as in when we hover over it with our mouse, it will do something and it will change the width of it to about 300 pixels. Uh, and it will remain, the height uh, might be a given, but let's just set it. And also the background color, again, might be a given, let's just set it. Sometimes when you do this, uh, it won't change these anyway, but sometimes it does and it's unexplainable. So there you go, look at this. It expands in and expands us out again, or expands out and in again. That's good. Uh, that means it works perfectly. Now, you might say, well, uh, is it going to be taking up all this space so I can't have anything else? Well, glad you didn't ask again. Um, <laughs> fairly rude, actually. So let's create a few and put them. Oh, God damn. Yeah, look at this. Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. Oh, my God. So beautiful. Um, well. Let's see if we can't uh, make it so that they uh, will line up. So we go display and display them block. Let's see, did that? No. <laughs> okay, I will be right back and have figured this out. Possibly. Or no, maybe not. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, I wrote it wrong. I was almost right. I knew it was something with block. It was an inline block, I meant. Okay, so here we go. We've got all our five divs, all the five that we just created here. 
and in our CSS it says that they are they are positioned uh, relative to each other and that they are displayed in an inline block as in it will just lay them out flat out uh, now there is a bit of a spacing between them that doesn't really matter you can remove that if you want to uh, it's about should we say it's about five pixels so let's remove that and then add it again yeah so it's a margin to the left of three pixels in minus oh it's it's more than that uh four pixels yeah four pixels okay so there you go now uh, they're removed but let's create a bigger difference between them there you go beautiful so now when we hover over one of them it will move all of them that's beautiful that's just perfect I can't believe it worked so well actually on the first try as well. I've had a lot of problems with these and I've been looking it up all over but there's not a lot of people explaining it uh, to be honest and that kind of pisses me off so there you go. You get another free tutorial of how to actually do this and how to do it proper. I feel that's uh, very needed. So I hope that this effect will help you create something cool. Like I had a few things in mind like you could have a um, you know for when you go on a website and you want to go under contact to contact the people they'd have a little image in here of a phone and then you'd hover over it and it display the phone number now i have done this on another website i won't show you because of people harassing other people so um but i have done that and it works perfectly and i've done it for three things i've done it for a phone email and also for coding as in like web design buy and then it'll expand and display the name and all that and it works perfectly as well uh, but this is amazing. It, they all uh, position each other or push each other and then position themselves perfectly. I love this. So I hope that this helps you and that you can use it for something. And remember, use it for good, not evil. Now you can change the width and all that if you want to, you know, make them go further or all that. Uh, I like the 300. That was beautiful. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then a rating would be much appreciated. And do tell me how this worked out for you. I'd love to know. And I will see you all next time.